This video is created by Jagrat Creation. Video is useful to the students who are reading for Inter CA, Intermediate IPC or IPCC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for Commerce Graduation, BCom. They have got a chapter of amalgamation of companies in corporate accounting. This video is also useful to the other professional examinations like CS Executive, ICW, etc. This amalgamation of company is a concept, is a chapter, is a which is a part of corporate accounting. I want to solve one sum for amalgamation of companies. Observe the sum on the screen and read it. Arthur Limited and Benjamin Limited agreed to amalgamate their businesses. The scheme envisages that the formation of Banner Limited with an authorized share capital divided into two lakh equity shares of rupees one each for the purpose of acquiring assets, liabilities, and undertaking of two companies in exchange of shares in Banner Limited. So new company, Banner Limited, is to purchase Arthur Limited and Benjamin Limited. The balance sheet as on 31-3-2016 are given to you. The consideration was to be based on the net assets of the companies as shown in the books as on 31-3-2016. So payment is to be based on the net assets of two companies, but subject to an addition subject to an addition to compensate Arthur Limited for its superior profit record. This addition was to be weighted average of net profit of Arthur Limited for three years ended on 31 3, 2016. The weights for the purpose of the years 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, the weights are 1, 2 and 3. The net profit for the three years are given to you 10,000, 40,000 and 60,000. So this Arthur Limited is to be paid not only net assets but somewhat more because of its additional profit which may be titled as goodwill and that goodwill is to be calculated on the basis of weighted average profit of past three years of Arthur Limited. The shares in Benar Limited were issued to the old companies at a premium of 50 paisa and in proportion to the agreed net asset value of those companies. In order to raise working capital, Benar Limited increase its authorized share capital of rupees 1 lakh and proceeded to issue 60,000 shares of rupees 1 each at a price of 1.5 per share. So some shares are issued to the public for additional requirement of funds, means working capital. Calculate the number of shares to be issued to Arthur Limited and Benjamin Limited. Show the journal entries in the books of Arthur Limited. Arthur Limited is a vendor company and you are asked to write down the journal entries in the books of vendor company where you are required to prepare shareholders account, realization account and you have to record the entry in that to close the company. Prepare the balance sheet of Banner Limited after the issue of shares. I am going to prepare a balance sheet after purchase of these two companies. The balance sheet of Banner Limited will be prepared as per schedule 3. Now let me start with the sum. Now for the purpose of solving the sum, first of all I will find out the purchase price of Arthur Limited and purchase price of Benjamin Limited which are which is required to be paid by Banner Limited on acquisition of business, on acquisition of company. Now I prepare a purchase consideration statement. See this is one note, this is second note. Here what is paid here I am going to write down the payment made for acquisition of business. Here I am going to write down what is purchase means. Purchase means what? Net assets. 
plus goodwill. So here I am going to write down the net assets. So what is purchased? That is for the explanation. But the real title should be net assets purchased. Here the net payment. So here I am going to write down the payment. Here I am going to write down the purchase. This means net assets acquired by Banner Limited. Now for the purpose of finding out. See, this is the balance sheet given to me. The consideration was to be based on the net assets of the company shown in the books. So let me find out the net assets of Arthur Limited. To find out the net assets, we are required to deduct liabilities from the assets. The assets are to be taken at book value. Look at it. Fixed assets. Accept goodwill. 60,000 at book value. Stock purchased. Debtors. Bank balances also, also purchased. These are the assets purchased. Liabilities include creditors, 20,000. That is to be deducted from assets to find out the net assets. Now, the additional compensation is to be made to Arthur Limited. For that, we are required to find out the value of goodwill on the basis of weighted average profit for last three years. The profit for 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 10,000, 40,000 and 60,000. Weights are given to be 1, 2 and 3. I will find out the product. 10,000 into 1, 10,000. 42 is 80. 63 is 1, like 80,000. Total of product is 270,000. So weighted average profit is 270,000 divided by 6. So goodwill is 45,000. So Banner Limited pays 45,000 rupees for goodwill to Arthur Limited. So this is the goodwill purchased. Now here I find out the net assets of Arthur Limited. And the payment of this net assets is to be made by issue of equity share of rupees 1 each at a premium of rupees 0.5 per share. So here look at it. Total of assets 155,000 minus liabilities 20,000 135,000 plus goodwill this is the purchase price. So 180,000 is to be paid by issue of equity share of rupees 1 each at a premium of 0.5. So the exchange value per share is 1 rupee and 15 naira paisa. So number of shares to be issued can be found out by dividing 180,000 divided by 1.5. 1,20,000 shares shall be issued. So 1,20,000 share of rupees 1 each issued to Arthur Limited. So this is, that is known as payment. Equity share capital 1,20,000 shares of rupees 1 each. And the security premium. 15 naira paisa per share. So this is how 180,000 is paid. Here I have recorded the payment made to Arthur Limited. These are the net assets of Arthur Limited. Now in the same way I want to work out the net assets of Benjamin Limited. And the payment made there against. Observe the balance sheet now. Benjamin Limited balance sheet. Consideration is based on the net assets of the company shown in the balance sheet. So, fixed assets, stock, debtors. Here there is no bank balance, so this it is here, it's bank overdraft, liability, creditors. So, shares are issued for net assets at a premium of 15 APIs per share. So, total of assets. Minus liabilities, 1 lakh 20,000, no extra payment, 1 lakh 20,000 is a purchase price to be paid. For that, shares are given at a price of 1.5 per share. So, if you want to find out the number of shares issued, you are required to divide 1 lakh 20,000 divided by 1.5, 80,000 shares are issued. 80,000 into 1, share capital, shares are given at a premium of rupees 15 paisa per share. So 80,000 into 0 0.5, 40,000 is a premium. This is how 1,20,000 is paid. So these are the net assets purchased by Banner Limited. These are the payment made by Banner Limited to Arthur Limited and Benjamin Limited. So first question is answered. How the payment is made, what the assets are required. This is the details of purchase consideration. Now I want to write down the journal entries in the books of Arthur Limited. Now when I want to write down the journal entries in the books of Arthur Limited which is being closed down. 
so all the assets and liabilities transferred to the new company are transferred to realization account and those transfer entries are to be made from the balance sheet details so entries from the balance sheet this is arthur limited balance sheet all these assets are transferred to the debit side of realization account so realization account debit 155000 to fixed assets to stock to debtors to bank balance these are the assets transferred if you want to write the narration being all assets sold to a new company or transferred to realization account that is the narration that student it can write now i want to transfer see here i prepare here i prepare realization account is a working note a rough realization account is prepared to find out the profit on realization of assets and payment of liabilities so realization account is debited in my working note by 155000 now liabilities are also transferred to the realization account when the liabilities are transferred liabilities accounts are debited so creditors account debit to realization account credit and the realization account is credited with 20000 now the share capital and reserves capital and reserve is to be transferred to shareholders account so these two 50000 and 85000 will be transferred to the shareholders account so equity share capital account debit reserves account debit to shareholders account credit b capital and reserves transfer to shareholders account this is how narration you can write in your own way now after copying the balance sheet details of balance sheet are considered you should write three entries write the entry for purchase consideration due second entry purchase consideration received and third entry purchase consideration received that has been distributed so write the entry for consideration due received and distributed now let me write down first entry for purchase consideration due due from banner limited all these assets and liabilities are given to banner limited banner limited is the receiver debit the receiver banner limited account debit to realization account credit and the realization account is credited for that now find the realization profit so credit side total minus debit side total this profit is how much 45000 this profit will be given to equity shareholders so realization account debit to shareholders account credit 45000 this is the entry to be made for transfer of profit to shareholders account so realization profit is transferred to shareholders account now let me write down the purchase consideration receipt what has been received i have received the shares equity shares of banner limited from banner limited so the entry for that shares in banner limited account debit 180000 banner limited is the giver credited the giver so banner limited account is credited by 180000 being purchase consideration received from banner limited now purchase consideration due received now distributed this purchase consideration will be distributed will be given to equity shareholders so entry for purchase consideration distributed that is given to equity shareholders so equity shareholders account debit 180000 to shares in banner company account credit 180000 this is how the journal entries are recorded in the books of vendor company that is arthur limited now have a total of debit and credit this is the total this is how the journal entries are recorded in the books of vendor arthur limited now i am required to prepare a balance sheet in the books of purchaser that is banner limited so here i prepare the notes on accounts because i want to prepare the balance sheet as per schedule 3 so these are the titles as per schedule 3 that i write first of all fixed assets non current assets tangible assets fixed assets stock will be recorded in inventories current assets debtors will be recorded in current assets trade receivables bank balance will go in cash and cash equivalents but before then the 60000 shares are issued to the public at a premium of 1.5 share per share so the amount received there again 60000 into 1.5 90000 
and 90,000 plus 25,000 is the cash and cash equivalents, cash and bank balance, 1 lakh 15,000. Now, next, authorized share capital, 2 lakh shares into share of 1 each, that is authorized share capital. How much is the share capital? 120,000 plus 80,000 plus 60,000 shares issued to public is the total issued share capital. So if you want to find out issued share capital, you are required to make a total of 120,000, 80,000 and 60,000 that will be recorded here. Equity share capital of rupees 1 each. Now I am required to write down the security premium. How much is the security premium? 60,000, 40,000 plus 30,000 because 50 rupees paisa is a premium received on this 60,000 shares. So security premium 60,000 plus 40,000 plus 30,000 this is the security premium received that will go in the title of resource and surplus as per schedule 3. Now creditors, trade payables, current liabilities, bank overdraft, short term borrowings, goodwill will go in intangible assets. This is how notes and accounts are prepared. After these notes on accounts are prepared, I prepare a balance sheet, vertical balance sheet as required as per Schedule 3. So let me prepare a vertical balance sheet for Schedule 3. So these are the various titles of Schedule 3 that you know very well. Now the totals will go from this notes on account to the balance sheet, authorized share capital, Equity share capital share of rupees 1 each. Security premium will go in results and surplus. Bank overdraft, short term borrowings, trade payables, fixed assets, non current assets, tangible, intangible assets, goodwill. Stock will go in inventories, current assets, trade receivables, cash and cash equivalents. This is how the vertical balance sheet is prepared for you. Now have the total of equity and liability and assets. In this total authorized share capital is not considered. If you make a total, it should be 5 lakhs. Observe it. This is how the sum on, sum on amalgamation gets solved. I have tried to explain you. I feel that you have followed. Thanks to all of you.